So for those of you that remember Revenge of the Sunfish, he actually made another game. Yeah. And this is called Pasta Master, although some places call it Pastor Master, but the official name is in fact Pasta Master. And it is just as weird as the Revenge of the Sunfish game that he made. And if you want to see what the Revenge of the Sunfish game is, you can click right here uh, where my little finger pointer hand's moving and I'll take you to that playlist. And um, it's a very weird game, possibly the weirdest game that is on my channel as of the time of me recording this video. And Pasta Master is just as weird. And so you see you got some crazy lady here at the desk, a dog walking a person, and you can actually click on some stuff like you can ring the bell and you can uh, click her and she kind of like flips her shit. And then if you click on the mafia guy, he doesn't like it. And if you click to quit game, it will actually chop your finger off. But we'll wait for that for just a little bit. Um, I believe there's something else you click on here too, but I'm not sure what it was. Guess not. Anyways, um, yeah, so we need to click on the pasta to start the game. And here you are, you are the pasta master with a crazy top hat on. And your job is to shoot ingredients to make your perfect pasta. So as you can see in the bottom right here, you can see a number. And that number is your current power. If you hold it down, then it runs through your power as you unleash rays of death, which I'm assuming are like, I don't know, gamma radiation or something like that, which allows you to shoot enemies or something like that. That's what is cooking them. That's how you're cooking the enemies. As time goes on, the enemies get more and more bizarre. And if you want to here, you can go and get a bottle of ketchup called JFK to basically kill everything on screen. And uh, as you can see there, you have a gigantic salt shaker. And now you have a very mad, um, you have a very mad thing. It's a mad octopus. And cups of orange juice or coffee, possibly. I'm not sure. Cups of tea. I don't know what that is. But anyways, this is your goal in the game. And as time goes on, more and more enemies get introduced with more and more attributes, and it gets harder and harder. And uh, you have these little yellow bug things that I hate these fuckers, because they split into little miniature versions, and it makes them a pain in the ass and eat your ammo. And that's the main thing of the game you have to learn to do, is to uh, conserve your ammo. You have to conserve your ammo, and uh, in all honesty, like, I'm assuming he hand drew all these on the computer and everything, you know, like with a mouse. These are pretty interesting designs. And this is a shield. And by interesting, I mean fucking insane, but insane in a good way. And these are, that is a shield which I guess lost that quickly. Almost died right there from the blue octopus, but luckily I got that ketchup. And yeah, you just want to conserve your energy as much as possible. Just do real quick taps on the mouse to uh, take them out, stuff like that, try and conserve it. Let's see if I can, I lost my shield for some reason, I don't know what the fuck I even hit, but alright. And now you have the pissed off uh, tomatoes, which is the first enemy in the game that actually takes more than one hit to defeat. Uh, I'm not counting the yellow bugs as one of those, because they only do take one hit, but they just multiply. So these guys, you actually have to kind of knock the shit out of some. What's interesting is um, the fact that all this is supposed to go into your pasta. I'm not really sure I would eat a pasta with, you know, pieces of cups in it, and uh, mutant oranges, and multiplying bugs, and octopuses, and everything else that goes into this. I'm not, I'm not really sure I'd be too big of a fan of that, um, personally. I don't know if some of you like that. I know in some uh, places, uh, bugs are a delicacy, and I don't think there's anything wrong with eating bugs. Hell, I'd fucking, I'd probably try it, but uh, I don't know if I'd want to eat live mutant bugs that multiply when you kill them, let alone tomatoes with gigantic teeth. Don't know about that. You know, tomatoes are actually slightly poisonous for you, um, especially if not cooked correctly. Some people have an allergy to tomatoes because of this. And now we have the uh, mutant fish which are pissed off. And I'm almost out of ammo, son of a bitch. I need to conserve my shit more after all that fucking talk about conserving it. Oh, motherfuck. We are getting down to the wire here, folks. They are coming like a mad fucking frenzy here. Mad cow disease and a fucking pasta plate. Just trying to rapid fire kill them here because we're getting down. I need a ketchup real bad. If I could get a ketchup, that would be amazing because then I could just kind of conserve my ammo for a little bit. Oh, fuck. Son of a bitch. Throwing out the fucking woodwork. Oh, there goes my shield. Give me a fucking ketchup, Jesus! Where's that? Well, that's what happens when you die. And this really weird music plays. And this thing on the right, I'm assuming, it seems to go farther the better you do, so I guess it's like, like a demonstration of how far you got, and maybe if you beat the game, then it completes the game on the right, I don't know. But yeah, this is kind of bizarre music. So I was halfway through the game, so we're gonna try this again. 